what's up guys welcome back again to another android phone tips and tutorial so actually i, I want to categorize this one in, in a new playlist so that's why i thought to make a new series it's called the android tips how to in which mostly we all guys have lots of questions and we simply search it how to and xyz problems so similar way i named the playlist like how to so what is this all about so already i have i have a couple of uh, you know series running like uh, best apps for you in which i am not just uh, telling which one is best so which one can best for you can be the best apps for you for example uh, we already judge the camera app and the call recorder app uh, like and very soon i'm going to upload the screen recorder app for you guys so many people have requested me which one you are using and which one we should use and another series i am running essential apps for you which are not uh, only the best app and they can be in any category but they are sort of apps that you should use to increase your phone productivity right and value for money also so this is all about i have lots of tips and for and right and i want to share you guys and already i have uh, sh shared you via my app cell phone and uh, which is soon coming to android phones so from windows phone i have shared it lots so i thought to make it a video for you guys so that's all this is all about and write tips how to so today i am going to first uh, show you how to fix the error insufficient storage available and why i know the better in that case because previously i used to have a local brand phone called macromax and it just have you know four gigs of internal memory and i struggle lots throughout of year i mean how to manage space uh, i tried to use sd card i did so many apps like use the cleaner apps uh, cc clean and, and all whatever else there ram booster but at the end it doesn't work off so i decided to go off with the nexus line of phones to have a good of 64 or 34 gigs of memory and uh, quite a bit so i want to show you guys so let's start and uh, let's so if you're seeing this uh, message insufficient storage available on your android smartphone or tablet so you do have a space available don't panic just follow the steps i'm going to tell you and uh, this there are four steps i will tell you guys so first step the insufficient storage available uh, error often pops up if you have moved large amount of medias from android device physical storage to micro sd card and is caused by cache not being properly erased and so guys uh, it happens when you have phone have 4 gigs 8 gigs 12 gigs 64 gigs of memory and there is optionally support of sd card so you might be doing this thing like you know moving your things uh, from your phone with sd card you thought it should work and later you uninstall and you forgot it so it, it's not happening and because every app has a specific memory area called cache in which a user app stores a temporary data for their purposes for example let me show you uh, quick things here for example if i go to any of the apps suppose google chrome and you can see how much memory it is consumed so definitely installed and uh, somewhere it is internally storing some of the things uh, for example data usage this much is has can use consume and lots of things are there and so each app stores internally some memory it's called cache so you can clear a cap in a, a matter of seconds or minute depending on how just uh, bad your problem is so the uh, point is uh, whenever you uninstall any app or move any app uh, to sd card so don't forget to check it there uh, go to the settings and apps and here you will see the apps how much memory in the residual it has left for example if you have uh, using some download manager and uh, internally in the phone it was installed internal so and you install quite of download a lot of things and move that app the sd card so the uh, initially cache area will be created in internal memory and that will be there in internal memory itself because no internal cache memory is made in sd card it's just always created in internal memory right so definitely go for and don't forget to check it that you can manually go through deleting cache of the each app and see the coming steps uh, in the last step i will show you in detail and second step is guys if you haven't already tried deleting anything on your phone and receiving the insufficient storage available error, this would be a good place to start there are more or likely apps to have previously downloaded never used forgotten about and check the app tray and for example there are lots of built-in apps that that we never use uh, if i show you here i got this google fit here and uh, i never use this really google keep i never use it there so whatever you can do you can just uh, go to the apps and you can see how much site that app is consuming so definitely if you don't need it and uh, remove it uh, disable for example google fit it's not taking much so i'm keeping it i'm really using it 34 mb is quite a part but even if you are running a, a four gigs of space uh, internal storage so definitely you can wipe out all these things if you don't need one and uh, so we have to check in the app tray so if you are running an, uh, like analyze uh, android marshmallow which lets you app uninstall from the home screen itself like uh, 
I can directly uninstall from here. So, but if you are not running Marshmallow, you can go to the app tray in the settings to uninstall the apps or directly from here itself, you can uninstall it or see the app info. So this way you can do it. So for example, photos, videos and downloaded folders of another good place to check to. And if you are using WhatsApp, so definitely go and check out in the storage because WhatsApp by default, if you install it and it takes, it has the media auto download uh, functionality, you can say. Um, media by default uh, if your Wi-Fi it, it will select automatically download things so uh, make sure it, it is disabled and go to the app section and check there uh, internally inside the setting story you can check out there how much space this WhatsApp is consuming so you can use any of the file manager app. for example I have this file effects so you can check out with any of the good file storage app. it will show you the how much exactly that folder size that WhatsApp is using either so you can delete it there from itself and for example, one of the inbuilt app like Google Photos, it takes a lot of memory and I will show you guys here. If I go to apps here, so you can see the Google Photos app, it consumes around 464 MB, even though I don't have much photos. And here my app 640, 650 MB. Facebook, you can see if you're not using much, it takes a lot of data, create lots of cache, 6257 MBs. I rarely use Facebook on the phone. It just stalled by default. Uh, somehow I used to use, but see it takes 257 MB so lots of apps are there you can uh, manually select and clear cache for example you can see clear data clear cache internally you can do so many things within the app itself so this is the second way uh, you can make sure how much memory is in and uh, third step you see uh, it's a apps cache cleaner so guys guys have already explained you in couple of the videos uh, why we don't need the uh, you should not use the cleaner apps like uh, memory cleaner phone booster RAM booster, these apps uh, run parallelly in the background and how much battery they will save. They will internally, you know, consume that much battery for you. So it's not recommended to use those apps. And for them, I have one app suggestions for you. And this app is called simple app clean app cache cleaner on one tap. So this is simple app. It won't run in background always. And if you just click a refresh, it will show you. For example, you can see I do lots of YouTube and uh, and I haven't downloaded any, there's nothing offline, but still the cache wise 270 MB, photos 262 MB, as I shown you, it's not needed. These are uh, half gigs, I got it there from there. So these are all stored in the internal storage and Gmail, camera apps, you can see uh, 113 cache MB, I never uh, do so many things here. So using this cache, you simply cl clear all and you can do in one shot. So this is how you can do with apps. So don't download any cleaner related app, particularly which runs always. So this app is not running in background that it will only run when you try to use it. And it's not taking many much memory, it's just simple app on few of MB's app only. So you can download it. And the fourth way we can do it there, we can manually go to the cache folder. If you don't want to use any app, so simply go to the settings and come to the storage section. Storage USB, you can see in that right, in the down below, they have a cache data. So you can see the internal storage, how much is divided, its cache data is clear. If I click here simply, it will ask to clear the cache. You can clear it and go to the apps and you can also verify it here as I shown you earlier. So these are guys, few of the ways as I shown you. So I am just memorizing again. First is whenever you download any app, first go to the app setting and see what are the settings are there by default if something is downloaded and by default if it is selected internal storage to save the files. So if it is possible to move the files to you know select any other location, you can see I will just show you an example here. So let me open my one of the camera app, camera MX I am using. So I will just show you guys in the setting how much, how do you do that. So for example, if I go to settings here and some place you can see. Uh, select storage location. I don't have this Nexus doesn't suppose SD card. That's why it has selected internal memory. So if your phone has uh, SD card support, definitely it will show you. You can simply choose custom location and it will browse from here. So if your phone has uh, SD card supported, definitely you can uh, move from here itself. So that's how you can uh, do that. And second is uh, whenever you try to move any app from internal memory to SD card, make sure to use any file explorer or systems storage setting and check. If there are any residual or cache file is left, make sure to clean it and check out the system apps like photos, camera, YouTube if you are doing. So they are st storing lots of uh, memory as I have shown you uh, internally. They took lots of space as you can see here. So uh, these are the things guys that you should check out uh, how much internal space they consume. And third is 
you can use uh, this uh, app cash clean i will give the link down in the description you can download it it's simple one tap clean cash and see one gigs i got free here if i do just click it and fourth way is a manually to do the cash i already shown you how to do that i'm just showing you again system storage and usb light the lowest one is uh, called cash data you can clear from itself 1.05 of cash data is there simply you can do it so these are four ways guys so that can solve the internal uh, that error that if you are getting insufficient storage available so hopefully this still help you and if you like this tip give me thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe me if you guys want to if you have any specific problem like you're searching for an app or some which app you should use uh, if you are running any problem in your android phone definitely let me know down in the comments i will try to make a demo video for you asap and we'll upload you within 24 or 2 days uh, as much i can try the best for you so and don't forget to watch the other android marshmallow box and other video playlists i have so definitely guys they can help you a lot so stay tuned guys i will upload soon a new tip for you i have lots of uh, it's not any periodic time I will do it as as for you. So thanks for watching guys and have a nice day. Thanks for watching again.